what's good guys in this video we're gonna be going over how you can make transparent images out of with strokes out of your uh models um so like a lot of front page games have this in their shops for their uh models and i think it's because it looks pretty clean it looks nice um and uh yeah so we're gonna like pet sim has this and like a bunch of other games so we're gonna make that real quick um let's go ahead and get into it so oh this i'm just doing this for my game by the way i'll, I'll leave a link down below if anybody wants to test it it's public right now just for just for like open testing so if anybody wants to test that out go for it um but yeah let's go ahead and get into it so right here i have a mo actually i just did this one so let's do another let's do have i done this one which one is this called i have not done this one this one oh this one would look cool though did i do that one i did not let's go ahead and do that one i, don't I think that one's gonna look cool yeah let's do that one all right so we got this prototype sword that's what it's called um so if you are already in blender and you already have your models in blender you don't need to do this step but let's just say that you have your model in roblox studio um like i have mine and this is what you're gonna do so you're gonna take all the necessary parts of that model as you see i don't have the handle highlighted because it's not needed for this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to export selection and I'm going to save it. So I'll just save it as prototype OBJ. I am going to now go over to Blender. I have something in here already. I'm just going to delete that object real quick. Um, by the way, before we get started, I'm just going to go over a couple things. Um, like before we like take the image and stuff and get the model in here um so your camera you can move this now oh wait no that's not it okay what the hell oh okay that that's that makes sense all right cool so this tab okay i was like how do i close this and i'm not a blender guy so it doesn't really matter but um you're going to have basically like go to the camera, you can go to your lighting, whatever, but any object that's selected, you're going to go to this little triangle tab right here. Uh, that's right by this little uh, thing, whatever. And you're gonna just going to click on that tab and you're going to go down to transform on your object. And that's how I have set my camera to be at a very good position for these um, images we're going to render. Okay, so I've set this to like the Y to zero the X and Z are both 90, then the location, I've set Y and Z to zero, and then this is, I just pulled it back some so I could get a clear image. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. And then also you can do the same exact thing for the lighting. This is your lighting object. Um, it's the same thing for your lighting, just adjust it wherever it looks nice. Now for the, these settings here, you're gonna wanna have these selected. So go to render prop or output properties right here, output properties. Go down to file format, make sure you have PNG, and then also make sure you have RGBA. Um, and I think that's it for that. That's all I needed to do for that. And then go to uh, render properties, go to film, uh, and make sure transparent is turned on, okay? it's I think it's disabled by default, at least mine was. Um, and that's it for that, I believe. And now we can just, uh, go to file import now there's wave front obj and then there's wave is it front I, I can't see i'm literally blind right now um wave front obj legacy i don't know what the, what the difference is to be honest and i don't think i care but let's go ahead and import our prototype sword oh my gosh what has happened it's all the way off into the distance simple fix Go to ob make sure it's selected go to object go to set origin go to geometry to origin boom um and that is that okay now go to render at the top and then go to render image so as you can see we get this cool little image that we've we've rendered um it's looking pretty cool uh now go to image 
save as I'm going to save this as prototype PNG save as image. Now we're going to go to the World Wide Web. Okay. Um, I do have like a dozen movie tabs open because I watch a lot of movies while I'm programming. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and here, as you can see, I already have this image made up um, because I'm in the process of doing this. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So I'm going to hide that real quick for you guys. And I'm going to... Um, Pull this up. All right. And now I'm going to first I'm going to rotate it. OK, so. First I'm going to rotate it and I'm just going to put 45 so it's at a really clean angle right there. You know, I'm not going to just rotate it myself until it, you know, whatever. Get the size just a little bit more just because we can really get the image out of there. All right, now, as you can see, as this one, it had a whole bunch of properties on it. So the first one, let's add the stroke, okay? Go to layer, layer style, and then just click on stroke. And you're gonna get all these layer options up here. We only wanna mess with the stroke. You can play around with all this stuff. It is quite interesting and you can uh, create some cool looking things with it, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna use a stroke for this. Um, go to fill type. You can also change the size up here, by the way, and I would keep it on the outside. Okay, so if I go to center, as you can see, it's like kind of taking away some of the, the object here. And so that for this particular, I would always go to outside. Um, what does overprint do? I don't even know what that does, but fill type will go to um, gradient. You can just go to color if you want. I like to go to gradient. I think gradient looks cool adds that effect and that's the big thing like the mythic color too so that's kind of cool i think but um yeah and then you can go to linear you can go to radial you can go to all these other style options but i like linear i think linear looks good and then that's pretty much it for the stroke i think i think i covered that so let's go to all these other options here I can do brightness, contrast, and that's what you see all on the on the right here. Is this like hue, saturation, vibrance? So I can go to brightness, contrast. Sometimes I'll mess with the levels and curves, but not for this. I don't think it's necessary. I I only mess with levels and curves if I want to like put like an off feel to the to the image. But then exposure is good to mess with vibrance. I always do like hue and saturation a bit. So like if I go to hue and saturation, you'll see lightness. And then, you know, and so I'll do like a tiny bit of lightness just to get kind of like an off brightness to it. And then saturation, I'll, I'll typically go heavy on the saturation for these types of images because it's a video game and it's Roblox. Like, so you want a lot of contrast. And then hue, I, I won't, I won't touch hue. Because hue is just going to change the color completely and it's going to look off, you know, so we don't want we don't want hue. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much that. Um, and that's what that's what the finished result looks like after I tweaked and messed around with my, you know, um, stroke and stuff oh i can add an inner that inner shadow kind of looks a little nice but like it adds character to it but i feel like it's not needed for the game to be honest inner glow yeah the inner shadow does look nice but i don't think it's needed or necessary um yeah so anyways we're gonna go to file export as png save then we're going to go back to roblox stew import and then we're going to copy i'm going to put it in my code here oh oh where's my why did why was i on that script all right here we go <laughs> This was prototype sword, wasn't it? Do I not have prototype in here yet? Yes, I do. 
boom, and then boom. So now you'll see what it looks like in game. I mean, kind of, maybe not as much, but. And then these are the images, but you can't see them because they're not unlocked and stuff. But this one's this one's unlocked. So you can kind of see this one. Let me just get some of these tabs out of the way. So yeah, and that's what it that's what it looks like. Um, and the positioning of the image is just really bootlegged because I just threw it in there. So yeah. But um, that is it for the video, guys. I guess I'll see you on the next one.